Hi, I'm Dr. Kenneth Fink. I'm a medical oncologist at Zimmer Cancer Center, New Hanover Regional Medical Center in Wilmington, North Carolina. Staging of lung cancer is, uh, is an important aspect of, of lung cancer. It, it helps uh, us doctors uh, know uh, how, uh, how to approach the patient. It tells us a lot about the survival of a patient. And we like to tell patients what stage they're in because they, that, that helps them know uh, more about what to expect with their treatment outcome. A lot of education is needed uh, when we talk about the staging uh, because there, there are quite a few uh, specifics to it. The staging system we use is called the TNM system. It stands for tumor node metastases. So the tumor refers to the primary cancer, where it started, which is within, which is within the lung. We talk about a t, a t, so we talk about a T stage. We use a one through four designation. If the tumor is small, less than three centimeters, we call that T1. If the tumor enlarges and becomes more than three centimeters, we call that T2. If the tumor spreads a little bit uh, more, uh, more aggressively and is, and is starting to invade some other tissues, we call that either T3 or T4. The end stage is also quite important. Uh, lung cancers have a tendency to get into the lymphatic system and implant within the lymph nodes, which is the drainage system of, of the body, including the lungs. If it has spread to the lymph nodes, and we can tell this by doing a, a CAT scan or other imaging tests, we'll tell the patient that their, their lymph nodes have, are involving either the local lymph nodes, called N1, or the more central lymph nodes, called the mediastinal nodes, which we designate N2. And then metastases, either you have metastases or you don't, so we say M0 for none and M1 for, uh, for having metastases. So be between the T and the N, we can tell if a person has either stage 1, 2, or 3 disease. If the tumor is quite small, we'll say they have a T1, let's say N0 disease, that would be stage 1. If their tumor is a bit bigger, say T3 with N1 nodes, we might call that stage 2. Um, if the tumor uh, gets a bit bigger and is invading, or the lymph nodes, the central lymph nodes are involved, which we call N2 disease, we would call that stage 3. Um, and then once a patient has been found uh, to have cancer outside of, the, outside, of the, outside of the lung or outside of the local lymph nodes of the lung, we would call that stage 4 disease. Uh, so the staging system of lung cancer is important. It's the way we collect our statistics on cancer, and it's what we use to help decide what kind of treatment to, to give patients.